Hey, y'all. Welcome back. Two days in a row. Um, Y'all, I wanted to show y'all this stuff before I put it away. I did thrift a few more things. Um, But I left a lot of stuff in Jersey. I was, like, finding stuff from my daughter's house and stuff like that. Um, And so, but the few things I did bring home, I'm going to show y'all. Plus, I got some stuff at Michael's. Um, just some craft stuff, but I'm only showing y'all this because this stuff was like pennies. It says a dollar and, I mean, a dollar, but this was like 30 cents. And there's three paintbrushes in here. And, um, then what else did they have? Oh, they had these, you know, I love my little faux desserts. Oh, I got two packs of the paintbrushes. And, um, some Christmas tree hooks for like next year. They, these said $1.99 on them, but these were like every bit of 10 cents. Like it was, when I tell you, I think I only spent like $2, less than $2. I got change back from $2 for this stuff. This, look at that faux dessert. It's like a keychain or something, but you know how I do them. You know, because you know, I always have the faux desserts on my trays when I set up. Because I don't eat desserts. But, ah, uh, a little itchy. I just pull, you see that little thing right there? I carefully, you can cut it or you can care, just carefully pull. I'm, this probably has to be cut because I don't want to pull the side. But I'll cut that right off and this will be a little dessert for my dessert tray. I got that one and this one. I only found two. But ain't that cute? And these were like, I mean, I don't even remember what the prices were. But I tell you, I got change back from $2 for all this. The paintbrushes, those, and I got two packs of candles. Oh, and I got a lot of change back, like a lot of coins back. So I, it was a tad over a dollar. These were marked. It's four white candles, and they, and who don't always could who couldn't use white candles? These were marked seventy. I mean seven dollars and ninety nine cents. They were every bit of a quarter a piece. Nice. Yeah. So that was it. I just wanted to tell y'all just in case. Um, you know, you're near a Michaels. That was not bad. That was not a bad deal. And then, uh, oh, this is some stuff that I brought while I was there. This was from Burlington when I could, when I went to go find. Rox told me that they had the Primark in the gallery. Y'all, I made, I was so excited. I went over there. I'd never made it to King of Prussia. By the time it was a couple days left, I was like, whatever. I'll come back in May and I'll go in May. But I went to Burlington. We went to Burlington. We, I still call it Burlington Coat Factory. It's Burlington now. And the one in the gallery. And I found this cute little shirt. Now, this is crop-ish, right? Y'all, I'm so into this tie-dye. I was so glad they brought it back. Um, but this was $6.99. Uh, no, $8.99. It's a sweatshirt, very lightweight, almost T-shirt-ish. And um, it's in the sweatshirt shape, but it's T-shirt-ish, right, for Texas here. It's cute. It's pink and white. It's my thing. And it comes right to your belt. You know what I mean? On your jeans. So I would put on, because I'm old, I would put on a, like a white tank top underneath of this, just in case I bent, um, you know, yeah. And I would wear high waist jeans. That's what I got to go with this. Ain't that cute though? Yeah. For $8.99, I picked that up. I wasn't supposed to be buying this. I showed you all these t-shirts, but guess what? I noticed after I did it. Y'all, after I showed y'all last night, and I was like, oh, it's something on here. I never, it says cheese, please, for the cheese sake. I did not notice that. Is that cute? Oh, my goodness. These, this was regularly $16.99, and the other one was $19.99, but they had two for 20 So, look at that. Cheese, please. Is that cute? You know I'm wearing that. Yes. And then this one just says Philly. Cute. I got this too while I was there. Um, I got this at Burlington or Ross or Marshalls. I got it at Marshalls. Uh, but I got this one. I had first got a couple of days after I had got there. Um, I got these high, skinny high rise jeans at Burlington too. They were $12.99. But I got a petite and I'm not short. So I can't wear these until the weather breaks. Because then I, I don't mind wearing shorter jeans with flip flops. Um, like the ankle pants. But yeah, just distressed jeans. So I can't wear this until I can wear flip-flops and stuff. So 
But they're cute. And I thought these high rise, I got them at the same time I got that shirt. That would be cute. So by the time I'm wearing flip flops, I won't be wearing long sleeves. So they won't. I'll just, but I got high rise jeans. And then I got this. Oh, and my niece gave me that other jacket. I'll show that to y'all. She gave me a cute little Michael Kors jacket. And I thought, I'll put that on because it's lightweight. But it had down feathers. So it was very warm. So, because I was, it, I just needed, like when I got there, I only wore a leather coat. And it was heavy. But it really wasn't warm. And it was cold. So, I went on ahead and I got this because it had lining. I picked this up. This was $6.99. Y'all know I love these camo thingies. I picked this up so I could have something when I'm, you know, running around. And um, then my niece gave me that other jacket. And then she, somebody had, get, she said somebody gave her, the same person gave her that jacket twice. One year and two years later, they gave it to her again for a Christmas gift. <laughs> she said, I didn't need that jacket. But, and it was brand new with the tags and everything. Oh, and then, this is the other thrift I got. I found this Brighton bag. I am definitely, this will be going up for sale. This is black and brown with the crocodile here. And this was $6.99. So I said, this is an easy profit. I'm going to be doing a, a video next week um, on thrifting for profit. Um, there's ways that you could do it. First of all, your cell phone is your best friend, but I'm going to tell y'all all about that when you're out in the thrift stores and you're looking to make a couple extra dollars, just, you got to look for the right things. But again, it takes time to learn the right things. But if you start out looking for quality, you'll be able to make a couple bucks. So, um, anyway, I'm going to do a whole video dedicated to that. I will be in the thrift store when I'm doing it and I will actually show y'all how you look and you'll see, so I can spot something across the room and know, okay, that's a couple dollars there, you know, and run over to get it. Now, Brighton is not my judge, right? It's not my thing, but, um, oh, I thought I had all my clothes that I had to wash, but I forgot I had clothes wrapped in this. I had pulled out some clothes that I had to wash, but I wrapped my stuff in some old pajamas. Um, I meant some pajamas that had to be washed, but look at these, y'all. These are called Cheeky Reindeer Mugs by none other than Pottery Barn. Okay, they don't sell them anymore. This was a one-time thing a couple holidays ago. But folk out here paying $39 a piece for these, y'all. $39 a piece. Yeah. These were connected. I got two. Couldn't find any more. These were connected by that plastic stuff. I mean, you know, the... um. Those uh, zip ties, look, $2.99 for the pair. Folk out here running around here paying $39.99. I said, I'll put mine up for a pair for $39. $2.99 to $39? Yeah, they sold. Ain't they cute, though? In perfect condition, y'all. Pottery Barn, not near chip. So I'm sitting them carefully right there. So I could pack them up. I'm going to take pictures of them so I can put them in, on certain different, you know, different platforms. And then I will wait and I'm going to have it already packed in a uh, bubble wrap and in the box waiting to go as soon as I get a bite. But that is not bad. $2.99. Look at that. For two. And I'm going to do, I said, I'll do mine $49.99 for the pair. Yeah, I ain't doing no $39.99. $49.99 for the pair. Because I saw somebody else selling $59.99 for the pair. So I thought if I put it up, and people are buying them like crazy because Pottery Barn doesn't sell them anymore. They're cute. And people who like to collect the Pottery Barn holiday, I do. I like to collect the holiday stuff. But when you find them and they're really hot and they're selling, I don't mind. I'll find them again eventually. And then the last thing that I picked up while I, well, not because it's probably something else I'm forgetting to show y'all. But I didn't bring much home with me. I was getting stuff from my daughter's house. I found her the most gorgeous glass mugs, coffee mugs. They, I don't know who sold these or where they ever sold them at. They're beautiful, clear glass. And they're huge. You can actually hold it in your hand. With the bottom that comes up, they are huge. They got to be at least 16 to 20 ounce mugs. They're, and there were five of them for, I want to say, $3.99. We got them in a bag. 
And then it was at Goodwill and Cherry Hill. Well, Cherry Hill, yeah, because that's what I think they're calling. They're not calling it Pentalkin. And look at these, y'all. William Sonoma. These are the um, essential whites. Now, I collect the great white from Pottery Barn. I had some open kitchen from William Sonoma, but I've recently donated it because I wasn't using it. But these go well with the open with the uh, great white from Pottery Barn. It's the same porcelain. I love a two-handled um, bowl, you know, soup bowl. And I got six for $4.99. Yeah. No, $2.99. Six for $2.99. I left the sticker because I unwrapped them to wrap them for my bag. One of them didn't make it home. One of them cracked. And I just threw that in the trash. But I got five now for $2.99. I love them. I really only needed four. So nice soup bowls. Really cute. So I'm going to put this with my white collection. And yeah, that's it. I wasn't doing much. But this is going up for sale. Those Pottery Barn mugs are going up for sale. And um, a couple other things. That crystal that crystal canister, y'all. I showed y'all. that I, showed, I think I showed it again yesterday in that video. That I paid $6.99. And... I'm even finding them even for more money. But I said I would put mine up probably for like $149, $159. And um, see if I get a bite. And this is the other crystal piece that I had got. I showed y'all already too. I took it out of the box. I'm going to, this is a little trinket piece that I'm keeping. So yeah. But I've, um, that's my thing now. I'm really into the crystal pieces right now. One, they are, you know, they sell pretty decent as long as you get the right ones. You just got to know. Which, and, and your cell phone and research is going to be your best bet when trying to figure it out. Or, like, I was in Jersey. I didn't have no time for that. We, I was, we, you know, we, it's a few times that we did go out trying to um, just spend time together. Um, I didn't have time for all the research. But I just grabbed things that I was like, okay, quality, quality, quality. You know, that type thing. Things that I knew. That's what I picked up. Now, this... This bag right here probably going to get me a couple dollars profit, but I know it's a profit. You know what I mean? And in its right day and in the right style, this these go pretty decent. Somebody's selling it for $107. I just don't see, um, and they've recently sold in a, between 80 to like 120 bucks, this bag right here. So to get it off my hands quick, I'll probably drop it down a little more than that. I say about 40, 50 bucks, but this is a quality lifetime investment. People who don't buy a lot of bags, but love quality. This, look at this. You got the open packet, open pocket there, out open packet with a um, magnet, you know, to close it. And then you have the big pocket on the, hey, two straps, but the big pocket, all these little pockets on the inside. And then Brighton states for itself. You know, Brighton is a company that's been around it, they make good quality leather bags, and that's why it's always a good reason to pick these things up. You always, you know, it's always a good reason when you see these bags. If they're in this kind of condition, look at the condition. I mean, the leather is just amazing on this. This don't even need to be, whoever had this bag even conditioned it, kept it conditioned. And it's not that old of a style. So this is only about maybe in the last two or three seasons. So... It's very still highly sought after. So I know I can turn that real quick into a couple dollars. But yeah, y'all, that's it. Um, I'm getting ready to go out to the 99 cent store. So I'll probably be taping another haul later. Um, next week when I can have, I got two Christmas trees. I still got to take down. The 27th of July, I mean, January, I'm still taking down Christmas trees because I ran out, never took down the Christmas trees in my bedroom or in the guest bedroom. So I got to do that this weekend and put everything where it's supposed to be. I'm still waiting for my table to come. So that's another video I got to do. That I'll probably be doing like three or four videos and get them up in the next day, couple days. And then I'm still shooting for that live tonight. I'm shooting for it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I should be able to get one done. But it's going to be short. If I do, If I do get it done tonight, it's going to be very short. So, yeah, let me put this stuff up. I got to put these bowls and stuff in there to get cleaned up. I'm going to take pictures of those mugs. And um, then I got to run out to the 99 cent store. And then I got to pick up some groceries, too. 
So I will chit chat with you guys later. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. All right. Bye-bye.